Hey cuties, what better way to hold us over during an event period, overstaying its welcome, than the pickup? Let's dive in and see how much of a splash these characters make. Get out of who let him in back in the kitchen? After toiling over a new recipe, Jiraiya's results are more yakisoba than they are yakisoba. With low rate, high conditional, and short range amps, paired with a low impact and equally restrictive team charge fill, his specialty dish will leave you unsatisfied when you realize those were his best features. If you want to avoid wasting food, you'd best avoid entering his restaurant altogether. Dumbness. After tirelessly grinding out the waves to score the title of Big Kahuna, along with some babes, this big general now challenges the next big wave with new techniques. Gong Ye's early energizing sprint now massively empowers his damage for the first couple turns, for both his regular and charge attack, though this damage can be kept up with some extra help up to 10 turns. After several wipeouts, Gong Li is now always prepared to weather out damage substantially while turning a few heads in the process. His unique strengths are still rather unclear to make him a centerpiece for any specific quest, but he coasts by as a handy addition to any accelerative centric team. In a place. One of the rare units with a combination attack range, Heracles also shares their reputation for under-delivering. With insufficient compensation to the combo damage penalty, Heracles will only achieve decent damage to those he pulls in for both magic and slash attacks. The limitation set on his damage and defense amp ensures he never excels in either, with decently quick to fill charge perhaps being his only reliable source of damage. Like other combination attackers, Heracles is best suited for hitting targets perfectly positioned in a larger area, but needs additional help to overcome the labors he faces. A line wrestler he is, but he won't be winning against some other feeling options. Better it off just using Oz with really Wildcat. The original Overdull Ring 4 star, this master ninja still wears his title well, freely flowing through the waves while mitigating nearly all damage to his disciples. Kotaro can keep himself safely submerged in the back line, and quickly set up his mechanic countering meaty board wipe. Strong presence in challenges and situational use in alternating board wipe farming, Kotaro makes his wisdom beyond his apparent years extremely evident. Perfecting his stage presence in Beach Volleyball, this tail demon developed some flashy new moves. Rushing across the court to meet challengers either head-on or from the far back, Bathim gracefully retreats after delivering a debilitating spike, inflicting both damage and defense mitt. Whether he rushes forward for a flashy finish, or deals his moderate uptime, ultimate show stopper, Bathim will leave his targets starstruck and vulnerable. Better for stylish dueling against larger groups of enemies and not as well suited for farming or more robust challenges, Batham lives up to his reputation as someone you'd only want around to show off. With an arsenal like this, it's no wonder why certain grizzly bears like Ashigata are endangered. His damage amp and damage mitt are available at middling rates and restrictive timings, securing his place as a least priority column clear. With his unique feature of massive pushback being situational on top of being unreliable, no amount of his moderate personal healing can salvage him. At least you'll be eating good with the other sweets he has to offer. Whoops, forgot to cover this returning seasonal booster last time. Be sure to get it! For the pickup though, you can keep saving them for a rainy day. These kits aren't brightening anyone's day. That's all for now, cuties! Catch you next time!